This is Piney Prepper Bill. Today is October 4th, 2021. And I guess today is also going to be known as the day Facebook crashed around the world. Uh, if you haven't noticed, Facebook has crashed, I think, from what everybody's telling me. It's like the end of the world type thing. Uh, we took a ride here. We come here a lot. This is the Edwin Forsyth Wildlife Management Area, Wildlife Refuge. Have a lot of hiking and nature trails, but we do the eight mile drive around. And uh, let's take a look, see what's out here. The Leeds Eco Trail. So I'm out here at the Edwin Forsyth Wildlife Refuge area, the Wildlife Drive. And they have this eco trail that goes all the way out, looking over by Atlantic City. I mean Atlantic City. And if you can see that, Atlantic City's out that way. And this is all the names, people that donated money, I guess, for this walk. There's Atlantic City out there. I'm trying to get out, lose a little bit more weight, stop eating junk food, hot pockets, ding dongs, hostess Twinkies. Nah, I don't eat that shit anyway. It's pretty nice out here. It's a lot cooler. The temperature says, in my truck says 81 or 82. But it feels like it's in the 70s. It's pretty nice out here. The wildlife Drive, they do have nature dark here they do have nature trails nature hikes and stuff or whatever it's been like 10 years since I took one of them but it's all overgrown it's shaded which is nice but I like seeing you know the birds and the eagles and stuff like that out here and today my wife's like at the yard sale sites on Facebook she was trying to find uh, a dog ramp for the pig I went to go back to message the guy and her Facebook's not working. So I tried somebody else's, doesn't work, won't work. Then go on YouTube, find out that looks like Facebook got hacked worldwide. Gee, what a shame. I feel real bad. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna hop in the truck once I get down here. And we'll take a ride through the uh, wildlife drive. And it's like 8.2 miles or something. You can drive down it, you can walk down it, you can ride a bike. I see a lot of people riding bikes. Walking it, that's eight miles. That's that ain't me. With my back and my feet, that ain't happening. The other nature trails I think are like four miles. But then I think you gotta turn around and come back. So that's eight miles. Yeah, I can just walk a mile and turn around and come back maybe. But it's gorgeous out here today. Watching secret stuff, telling me to get off my ass and lose some weight and get out here and do some stuff. Talk about all these keyboard preppers. <laughs> A lot of them, they all make the same videos, same background, sitting in their kitchen, same window. Here's the hiking trails. couple different grades Leeds Eco Trail quarter mile boardwalk 400 feet now have you noticed a couple of these prepper channels every time you watch them I'm not saying everybody. Yeah, sometimes, you know, it's cold outside or it's raining or whatever. But a lot of these preppers, they sit at their kitchen table, living room, whatever. Same background, same curtain, same window. And it looks like some of them, they look up the news on their laptop. And then what do they do? They go live. They tell you about it. They never even get off the chair. 
At least that's what it looks like anyway. Same thing over and over again. I can honestly say I have stopped watching every prepper. I can't think of one prepper I really watch anymore. And let me see. Getting dark back here. Nice out here though. Yeah, I can honestly say I don't watch any prepper anymore. Or so-called preppers, I guess you could say. And I think I've watched two people's live streams like two years ago. Every week during a live stream. For the first 15, 20 minutes, always starts looking. Hey, how you doing? Oh, how you doing? Oh, thanks for that donation. Losing train of thought. Every time they talk, I'm going to tell you something important. Bink. Oh, hey, thank you. Thank you. Hey, how you doing? Oh, where was, where was I? <sighs> Live stream. And then when you watch somebody else, they make a video. Oh, I'm going to do this video real quick because i got to get this done because we ought to go over so-and-so's preppers channel because he's going to be he's going to be going live in five minutes. I'll meet you over there in the chat. Are you serious? I don't see any of them doing anything. Except reporting the news. I can get that up. If I wanted that, I would get cable again. I got rid of cable, so I got rid of the idiots. And there's nothing worse than a prepper's live stream when there's two of them. Split screen, talking back and forth. And then they bring another person on. It's pretty nice out here. They got benches out here. And you see that? Pitch pine. So, yeah. Live streams are... What is that important? Do you need a live stream? Going live. Going live tomorrow night, 8 p.m. One of them. 15, 20 minutes you want to shoot yourself. It's pretty back here. Real pretty. It's gorgeous. See, I'm trying to get out, get a little exercise. Of course, you know, I got some issues, but some days I'm good, some days I'm in pain. It is what it is. Deal with it. Doctor said I was going to be in a wheelchair five years ago, and I'm still, still walking. I have no idea where this trail goes. Probably going to take me right to a swamp, or Bigfoot's going to jump out at me. So yeah, got to uh, get a little bit in shape. We like doing the, the wildlife drive. Because there's a, a lot of cool animals out there. We saw a mink. I oh, saw two mink. Minks? Is it mink or minks? Eagles, egrets, you know. Ooh, something's climbing up inside my hat. There you go. Marshes. So, the wildlife drive is eight miles. They have lookout towers and stuff like that out there, which are pretty nice. One side you see Atlantic Shitty. Yeah, no backpack for me. Not yet. Oh, that's where I was earlier, the Eco Trail. It was over there. city over there so getting back to the wildlife drive I see people riding bikes on it walking you know they walk out to the first lookout tower and then walk back ride bikes so maybe I'll think about getting like a mountain bike or some kind of bike you know put a bag or something on the back bring a lunch 
biking it's a little bit easier than walking. This is nice. We've got a little thing out here. So that's the end of this trail. But hey, I'm getting off my ass. Well, not like I really sit on my ass. I got a lot to do at home. Cutting firewood, chopping firewood, sacking firewood. Next day or two, I got to rip the dog, the dog house, pig house apart. Blow that out, fix a hinge. Got a heater in there. I got to blow that out because I'm sure if I turn that on, it's going to catch fire. I clean that out, bring a Got to clean the wood stove out. Because it's... I clean the outside pipe. Almost like every month, month and a half, because of the shit we burn. But I know the creosote's built up in the stove pipe in the house. And I haven't cleaned that out since last year. So, I'm going to uh, clean that out in the next day or two. This camera's really bouncing around a lot, isn't it? I don't have any image stabilization on this. Oh, I'm using my old phone. Or no, this is my phone. Forgot my other camera. That's too heavy for this. Well, this has a better, I can hold this like this. The other phone, or the other camera, if I hold it out like this. I got my big camera, it's like 30 freaking pounds. Dead wood. Ow. I just got bit. I'm gonna get malaria. So, I just wanted to videotape some of this. I'm heading back to the truck and then we'll cruise around. All right. Let's go. All right, now I'm at the first first lookout tower, or observation tower, whatever you want to call it. No, I didn't walk to this when I drove to here. But I get a nice view up here. I don't have, the only thing I got is my big freaking camera, like the news camera. See some swans. Is that a couple making out in their car? None of my business. I did you a favor. I put my hat, I almost forgot my hat coming back up here. And the glare off my head would have blinded you. So, I put my hat on for you. Now this is Wildlife Drive. You can see that. Long way traffic, next eight miles. Right in the middle there, there's an eagle on that little patch of grass. All right, we just got down. We just got done driving around the wildlife drive right outside here of Atlantic Shitty on that side. Um, before I end, I just wanted to talk about when I did this military thing last week, Talking to a lot of people, you know, friends of mine about the Charlie One Niner, if you know what I mean. The serum. I really didn't want to do a video on this, but a lot of people I thought were going to get the thing aren't. And a lot of people are le leaving their jobs and taking early retirement. I know about six or seven police officers, two in one place here in Jersey couple of Pennsylvania. Um, the other guy was in Virginia or West Virginia, but from all over. And they're, I think sometime this month, they're required to get it. And they're either quitting or taking early retirement. 
And I know another guy that was, well, is working for the government. He does the surveillance camera stuff in all their buildings. He's their main tech guy. He travels all across the country. And he was told, I think it was sometime this month, he had, he was required to get it or he would lose his job. And he said, well, if that's the case, I'll be retiring next week. And talking to a lot of people, a lot of cops, firemen, uh, one guy I know, his daughter and her husband work at a hospital in, well, I'm not going to say the state, nowhere near here. They were the whole nursing staff and the doctors were required to get it. And they're not. And it was administered, put it that way. They went into a room, they got the card with all the stuff on it that they need, but they weren't going to take the thing. And uh, it was administered, but not into the body. And that's how they got away with it. And somebody was telling me today that I think in New York, 7,500 or 7,000 policemen were fired for not getting it. You know, that's fine, whatever people want to do. But a lot of people like, you need to get it or you shouldn't have a job, you know? Well. Regardless, I'm not gonna get into that. But if there's no policeman, no firemen, no EMS, What's next? I mean, are you okay with what's coming next? National Guard, FEMA, and the UN. So, don't get it. No more police, no more fire. Who are you gonna call when shit goes bad? That's all I'm gonna say about that. And what are your thoughts on people getting fired, losing their jobs? And what are your thoughts on no more police? What are your thoughts on the UN taking over? Just my thought. I have, you know. But on that note, I'm going to end this video. We're out here. I'm at the second observation tower. Sun's going down. It's gorgeous out here. The breeze is kicking up. I've got the microphone under my shirt. Hopefully you can hear it. There's more people coming in. Uh... But yeah, watching uh, Secret Stuff, he was out there with a backpack, he's doing walking, and I mean, I got issues, but I try and keep busy. I'm doing some walking today, and I'm going to try and do a little bit more. They got a couple more hiking trails out here. A couple of them you can't take a bike. I might take a bike out here or something. I need to get a bike, do a little bit more exercise, lose some more weight, get in a little bit better shape. But hey, I'm not in a wheelchair at this point, so that's, that's a plus. So let me know your thoughts on everything that's going on. And like he was saying, a couple of people are talking about keyboard preppers. You know, oh, economy's crashing. You ever watch a couple of these guys? They're always in their basement, probably mom's basement, or the wife kicks them out. out. And a couple of people, it looks like they're talking through the camera on their laptop. Never see him anywhere else except there. Oh, we did shopping spray at Walmart. We never see him outside their house. Me, every time I make an episode, I try and go somewhere. Even though if I'm not walking, I take the truck, I take the camera. I got a big ass freaking news camera over here. And I try and give you something to look at other than my ugly face. But you got to get out. You got to get in shape. And the way things are going, we're probably going to have another lockdown soon. So if I were you, I would get out, enjoy the outdoors while you can. I mean, it was a bit hot as hell here lately. Today was supposed to be hotter than the last couple of days, and it's actually gorgeous right now. I mean, it feels like it's low 70s, but the temperature in the truck says it's 82. That makes no sense. But it's gorgeous out here, other than over there. Do a panoramic view, we'll show you. You see here.
So we saw a couple eagles today. We saw some egrets, some cranes. Depending on what time of year you come out here, you see the snow geese come out here. The one time we had that big snowy owl, that thing was huge sitting right here on this tower. Got more people coming in. It was pretty quiet out here today. Royal dusty. We need some rain. Everywhere I go, it pours, but when I come home, we don't get any rain. Had the ambulance out for a couple days to dry out and cleaning stuff and trying to clean the garage. It's going to rain all week. Take everything, move everything in the garage, get the ambulance inside. Well, now it's not going to rain for another week. Ugh. So, if I need it to rain, i got to take all the stuff out of the garage and guarantee within six hours it'll pour. Yeah, we like coming out here. You got to get out, you got to get moving, get off the keyboard, get off your ass. Even if it's just for an hour or two, just get out, enjoy yourself, enjoy the fresh air. Because, in my opinion only, I think another lockdown is inevitable. It's, things are going to get bad. Shipping containers aren't coming. Shipping containers are falling into the sea. Economy's crashing. Comet's coming. Uh, you know, a magnetic burst or something from the sun's coming, going to knock everything out. And it's funny, I got that on my phone. You know, ex a solar flare expected to hit, knock internet out, may lose satellite, may lose internet for a while. You may lose phone service. And then it says three days ago. I'm like, oh, I guess we made that out. Okay, everything's working. Except for today, Facebook went out. And evidently we can't find anything out because my wife's trying to find out. No, everything's like from other countries. So Facebook's been down for right now like six hours worldwide, if that's right. Oh, the sun's peeking out through the clouds. So this is Pony Prepper Bill, and get out, get moving, and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.